In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Canvas homepage with absolutely no images. Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome to my channel where we talk all things Canvas. I am so excited to be continuing this series and I have a little gift for you at the very end. So make sure you stay tuned to get a freebie from me. I am going to show you how to create home pages with zero images. Let's see how you can create a really engaging home page. So we have completed our teacher template here. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a home page for our course. So to get started with that, come over here and I click choose home page. You'll see that our current home page is set to the course modules. Now if you are comfortable with making course modules your home page, that's totally fine. I did that for years as a teacher and it was great because it essentially became the modules became like a student to do list. So if you want to keep it that way, that's totally fine. So before I get to click pages as front page though, we actually have to go create a page and assign it to be the home page. So let's click cancel and we're going to come over here to pages and it will load all of the current templates that we've created. But I'm going to create a new page and we're going to write home page and just leave it like this for now. And we'll click save and now we need to publish it. We also need to select the three dots and then select use as front page. So now when I go back to home and I click choose home page again, I am now able to select page as a front page. So we'll click this and select save. And now I just have this blank page. So I need to edit my home page now. So to get started with creating a home page that doesn't use any images, we are going to have to use the HTML editor. So what I've done is in a tab here, I have opened up my HTML code key and the type of code we're going to use are essentially div tags. So I'm actually going to come here and copy this background color, which is really background, it's div styling. Uh, and we're going to then come back to our rich content editor, our page and click on the HTML editor. So when we click on that, we're going to get kind of this little like grayed out box and I'm just going to paste in my code here and then we're going to kind of play around with this going back and forth between the two. So if I go back, you can see here we have this color background, we have a title header, and what I am going to do actually here is we are going to put divs inside of divs, but the background color is going to change. We're going to choose a different color. So let's do, I actually like this minty kind of color. So I'm going to come back in here and we're going to paste in that hex code right where it says div style equals background color. All right, so now when I go back, the color has changed and it's really fun. I don't really want a header or any of this stuff. I actually want a new div. And so I am actually just going to copy this, paste it, and then close this div. So how I close a div, write the tag, but then a backslash like so. And the background color of this div is going to be white. I'm going to to change the width of the div to let's do like 90% across the page. And then what I also want to do so that it's centered, I'm going to make the margin automatic. So essentially what this is going to do, it's going to center making the margin on every single side of my div box equal. So I actually put in the code wrong. I have an equal sign here. I need to delete that and put a colon like that. So now you'll notice like my divs are green before when I had that equals sign and then did that, it broke. So it was blue. So that's just one way to kind of like keep in mind to keep check of when you make a mistake. There you go. All right. So this is what I'm working with so far. I have to add a placeholder right here. Otherwise it will all disappear. So what I'm just going to put right here is we'll just write hello. And when I go to the RCE, it's not going to look perfect quite yet. So 
this is what I'm working with and we're going to make it so the green minty background appears better. So how I'm going to do that, I'm actually going to create a space. So I'm just going to do a paragraph and then we will write this little lovely doodad. This orange is not going to appear on the other side and then that one. So now when I return, this is what I have, which is really fun. Um, so we're just going to keep building off of this. So again, this is kind of the placeholder for now. Let me just go over everything. Okay, so we have one div. That's the whole, basically this is going to be the entire page, lines one and five. Then I've created inside an empty paragraph and then I have a new section, a new div, and then an empty paragraph to create that spacing. To style this up just a little bit more, I am going to actually add a border radius. This is going to soften the corners of the division. 10 pixels and we'll take a look. And so now it's all uh, rounded. One thing you'll notice actually, this is really great. This hello is so close to the edges of the white div. And so I'm going to come back here and we have margin, which is great for the outside. What I'm going to do now though, is we are going to add some padding and we're, we'll just do 15 pixels. Let's see what this looks like. So now I have 15 pixels on each side of my text, which looks awesome. The last thing that I am going to do with the border radius is we're actually going to give the border a color. Make it three pixels. This is for black and then we'll also do solid like that. Okay let's see if it appears and it does. Woohoo! This is basically going to be my welcome banner and then we'll just change the font real quick and we'll center it. Now I have my welcome banner ready to go. So now what I'm going to do is actually like across the page, I'm going to add a bar with buttons. So the first step to doing this is we are just going to go back and I'm going to copy this here. Do div style equals and we'll do background color this time is going to be black and we will close this up a smiley face as my little <laughs> placeholder. So let's see what this looks like. So right now it's way too close. Instead of adding like this huge paragraph because it's going to make it space out not the way that I necessarily want it. I am instead going to write margin on the top. Let's do 20 pixels and then we'll see what that oh and I keep messing up. So <laughs> got to make sure don't do multiple semicolons like me. I just changed that out and let's see what that looks like. So perfect. Now we have some spacing, which looks really great. Let me copy this. So now we have it on both sides, which looks pretty good so far. So I want to add buttons in here. So we need to add more than just this smiley face. So I have in another course, I have this awesome template course that you can download for free. And I am just going to go grab a basic button. Let's do medium size. So I'm copying the code. We'll return back here and I am going to paste this this in four times and see what that looks like. <laughs> Here we go. This is what it looks like so far. So definitely need some spacing in between them, which we will add. Let's actually grab this spacing code and we'll put it in between each button. Starting with A, ending with A, we'll put it there, 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 and I think we're good. And now there is a gap. You can see it in between. So I clicked save and you'll notice they're spaced now, but there needs to be space on top and the bottom. So I'm going to click edit again and we are going to go to so here's our margin bottom and I'm just going to add a padding inside of this and we'll do 10 pixels and see what that does which does give us more space and there we go so now we have our basic buttons they look pretty great I'm going to make them look a little bit better though edit this again and we want it kind of to match this welcome banner I'm going to make the font bigger bolder and 
then we'll do font, we'll make it black. And then on this side for each button, we're going to add a background color. Still wanna work within the button because we're styling the button. So what I'm going to do is after the class button, I'm going to write style equals quotation marks, background color is white. And then we're gonna close that with a quotation mark. And now we should get white backgrounds. Easy way to find this over and over again is to actually command F and we're going to start looking for it. So now I'm just going to paste it in. I need to find this next one and we're going to paste that in again. So now we should be good to go. I can exit out of the command F box, click save. And now I have these, oh, <laughs> they're different sizes. We'll fix that in a second. But now I have these buttons that are really nice. They are the same color as the banner. So let's keep editing this and we'll see what's going on 14 points okay so this is what I'm working with so far so I'm gonna save it and you can see this is what I have which I I really like so the only thing that I want to add real quick is a school's website right here so I'm gonna click edit and then not right here because if I try to type it's just gonna continue that button so on the other side I am going to go to the end so here it says basic button all of that and I am I'm just going to add a placeholder again by just writing hello and then on this side now I can find my text I need to style this so I'm going to highlight it we're going to change the font and everything to a different color to make it stand out and then we'll just give it a few spaces to align it and click save and now this is kind of what I'm working with so of course it's going to look a little bit different when I click home um so I might actually Actually, let's change this. Okay, I finally got it. I just shrunk this down a little bit. I just made the font size 12, which is fine. Now, let's keep going. I am going to actually copy the banner again, and we're going to paste it down here. So now it looks like this. And of course, we're going to fix all of the spacing looks great. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a agenda in here. This becomes like the body. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add a, another div inside of another div. I'm going to hit enter and we're going to, I'm just going to recopy the top one again. Now I need to paste it right before for this closing one. So I'm pasting it in and we are gonna actually change. So it's the width right now is 90. That is 90% across the page. This 90 is 90% within this entire div section here. So we'll save it and I'll show you what this looks like. Basically 90% inside of this division. I can make it smaller if I want to. So let's do like 85% and you'll see what that looks like which is I think that's a good one and now we can write agenda and we're going to align this on the left side and we'll make it size 18 so one thing that's difficult is you'll notice like I hit enter and it's creating this other div I'm actually on the back end here on this side we have our agenda and then we have like these breaks I'm gonna get rid of them and I'm also so we have style background color that's all great and dandy when it closes is I'm going to add a paragraph um, tag. So P for paragraph and we'll do a closing paragraph down here, closing P. And so now when I hit enter, it's fine. View the lesson. So I have the agenda now, um, but I want to have a start the lesson button at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is on this side, on the HTML side again, I'm going to make sure that I stay within the correct div, which should be this one. So this should be my little placeholder. Hello. So let's make sure it's in the right spot. And it is. Ooh, so I'm just going to actually center this and then on the other side what we'll do now is I'm going to find that button again so here's a button we're going to 
copy it until I get a closing a tag copy it scroll down and I'm going to where the hello is I'm just gonna paste it in like so and now I should have a basic button which is great click save and there it is so you'll notice it's not as thick as this black line so I'm gonna adjust that real quick so here's black solid it's one pixel let's try three and see what that does. Yeah, that looks good. And now we have our home page that has zero images on it, but it looks awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want access to that free template, what I created in this video, it is in the link below that is for you to use. I really hope that if you do decide to download it, you will like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I give away a lot of free things so you want to know when it's coming. All right, guys. Well, in the next video, we're going to go over everything related to grades in Canvas. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.